father-daughter relationship is really special and most of you fathers would probably say the same thing I would say is there's no guy out there that's good enough for my daughter but Bailey you've changed my life Rachel Bailey loves that you are the glue that bonds the family together he loves how much you love Corbin and how good you are together I apologize, I tend to get a little emotional. I'd like Bailey to know how proud I am. Come a long damn ways. I'm pretty impressed with him where he's at. It's been a rough road, but I met Rachel, and I've seen a hell of a change in him, and I'm pretty proud of where they're at. Rachel's just ingrained in her family, and she's just like she's always been there. to share a future that includes raising a happy, healthy family. The years will come and go. You won't take each other for granted. You will laugh a lot. You will cry a lot. You will grow older and wiser. It's a good story, and your story is about to start a new chapter. These past three years, there's been a whole bunch of mother-daughter phone calls going on. One of those calls was about you, Bailey. Rachel's comment was, he's really good to me, and he makes me happy. And you can't ask for better than that. Bailey, Rachel loves that you blend into her family so comfortably. She loves the father that you are. She loves that every day, you grow more patient because you're gonna need it. I don't wanna waste no time. So part of this lack of composure. Exactly what my life ordered. A lover and a friend. Riding on the same page. Walking at the same pace. Wondering how my life Giving the bride away today was, was really, really a special moment. And it made me think back to when she was 14. Not because it was related to a wedding at all, but it was actually the first time I thought about giving her away. Love was inconceivable. But since I met you head to toe, I don't want to waste no time. It's part of this lack of composure. Rachel graduated from UC Davis, which is pretty impressive. I don't think, though, that they taught geography. So while we were going to the mall one day, we drove by a Jeep that was the same color as mine, and it had an Alaska license plate on it. And uh, Rachel just goes, Alaska? How'd you get here? And I told her, well, they probably drove. And she proceeded to tell me that I was an idiot and that you cannot drive from Alaska to California. This argument happened for probably 15 minutes. And then she even pulled it up on Google Maps. And even when she was wrong, she didn't apologize. She just said, oh, look at that. And then we just kept driving. I don't want to waste no time. this lack of Exactly what my life ordered. A lover and a friend. Yeah. Can we just skip goodbye? And you know, all the times that we've come to visit, you thought we were coming to see you, we were just coming to see you. A lover and a friend. Let the credits roll the end. So, Bailey, if it wasn't clear for my dad saying no refunds or returns, tag your it. Uh, no give back. You touched her last. Please take each other by the right hand. Good. <laughs> My sister is incredibly loving and kind. We spent countless nights watching Disney movies snuggled up on the couch. 
making s'mores by candlelight, late night drives to nowhere, trips to get frozen yogurts, providing comfort in times of loss, and being each other's biggest cheerleaders in good times. When I was four, I told my mom that she was gonna have a baby. And she told me, no, that mommy was done having babies. I was not gonna be dissuaded by this, so I told her, no, you're gonna have another baby, it's gonna be a girl, and you're gonna name her Rachel. And a few months later, she found out she was pregnant. A few months after that, found out it was a girl. And then a few months later, on August 11th, 1990, Rachel and I met. any and all tax benefits as long as you both shall live? I do. Rachel, do you take Bailey to be your lawful wedded husband to love and comfort him for better or worse in sickness and in health and <laughs> spend all his money for as long as you both shall live? I sure do. Power vested in me by the okayish state of Utah, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Well, go on and kiss. Remember, life can be tough to get through it, but together you can do it. <laughs> 